Uh, guys, uh, welcome to another video. Everybody on YouTube. Um, so today, uh, hopefully not a very long video, a more of an entertainment video um, rather than anything else. Uh, let's gonna read and write uh, the ECU on this car. It's a Citroën Berlingo 2013 with uh, I believe this is the EDC 17 but we will uh, have a better look when once we get there so first thing you wonder why why I have the grinder here the grinder here so first thing and clip this uh, here to give you a little bit more room here to give you a little bit more room here uh, the grinder is going to be to cut in the middle these anti-temper screws so we can take this cover off and that's what we're going to be doing next okay the cuts are done I need to work out my middle because that's not the middle <laughs> anyway they are already coming out so that's all you need to do now to take the cover and plug this U and that's about it for the ECU removal okay the ECU is removed and uh, as you can see in there sorry is a uh, EDC 17 C um, C10 uh, is already opened so that job is done now let's gonna turn on the computer and uh, figure out the connections okay all the connections are done uh, because I do not have one of those uh, adapters for the BDM port which is right here at the back we're gonna do a direct connection I actually need to do I uh, need to get hold of one of those frames and adapters because it makes jobs uh, a little bit easier uh, but yeah a boot pin has been soldered um, Kitai will tell you where it is is a really tiny place where you need to solder so I've just used one of those multi-core wires just one of the strands from inside so that's connected and then all you have to do is powers and grounds can hike and low and that's it uh, select the right protocol and we are ready to go I'm gonna do individual uh, backups so I'm gonna back up the maps first and then the EPROM and the reading of the maps has started and now just let gonna wait and we are now 38 percent is a is now a very quick process guys it takes some time some time so you just patient wait But hopefully everything goes okay. Now 83%. Uh, Kita will tell you, but a quick advice, uh, which I obviously did. Once you have the ECU open, put it back on the car and make sure the car starts. Make sure during the opening you haven't damaged anything. If you do it carefully, it should be all right. You shouldn't damage anything. But it's always good to make sure that once the ECU is in this state, Plug it in, start the engine, make sure everything's okay uh, before you proceed. Um, so yeah, just a quick tip. Kitag will tell you to do that anyway, but I just thought it would worth the mention. And we are nearly there. And it's done. And now he's going to ask us to save the file. We're going to name the file and then we're going to save the EPROM. I've just saved uh, the maps and now I've select the EPROM. And we're going to do the same. We're going to save a backup of the EPROM. And the EPROM, guys, is really, really quick. Uh, and we are here ready to save the file. And... Uh, once this is done, um, let me just, uh, if I go here now and I select the same one, but now right at the end, I will save it as E P R O M. EPROM, save. 
and that's it guys we have backed up the ECU and uh, what I'm going to show you next is how to write the files back uh, once again these files guys are going to be or these maps are going to be manipulated by uh, ECU tech I'm going to leave a link in the description below to him uh, if you need any sort of work like this uh, I mean any manipulations on your files whether you want fuel economy where you want more uh, power just get in touch with him uh, and he surely will be able to help you so yes that that's what we're gonna do now and then I'll come back to write the files back into this U and hopefully uh, everything goes okay okay guys uh, right I feel really bad um, <laughs> because I got the file back from ECU Tech last night and uh, I flashed the ECU last night uh, just before I went to bed and I forgot completely to record it. Uh, it was just before I turned off I turned off the chair the shed uh, and, and I just quickly um, flashed the ECU uh, with the file he sent me. Now, uh, I do apologize, I, I don't need to justify or to prove anything, but yes, there's a new software on the ECU now. I haven't tried this ECU, it's all unplugged as you can see uh, now, but I haven't tried it yet. We're going to do that next. Um, however, the flashing process, guys, is not much, uh, is not much to it, really. You just, uh, you have on key tag, you have the top to obviously read this U, right underneath you have the, re the restore option. You unselect the restore option unless you want to uh, flash this U with the maps and EEPROM and all that. Uh, we didn't want to do that. We only want to uh, reflash the, the maps. So you deselect uh, uh, restore uh, and you select the maps only. Then you press write. That's going to ask you where the file is. You select the file and the process starts. If you are not familiar with Kitag, the first screen you're going to get is a little, a little square that tells you to wait. And it tells you that process might take some time. In the case of this ECU, it took indeed some time. It took some good five minutes. Uh, basically, on that screen, uh, you have this... Uh, red uh, kind of red dots just moving uh, in and out there's no uh, process bar so you don't really you can't really see how long it's going to take you just have those those little uh, red dots moving um, what Kitag is doing at that point is calculating the checksums um, now most of these use if you are any familiar with this sort of stuff most of the the the, the maps they are like you know 500 uh, kilobytes 1 megabyte 2 megabytes this one does have a p flash or a programming flash memory of 4 megabytes is the um, the TC1797 is a 4 megabytes so even Kitag takes a little bit to calculate the checksums once that's done the writing process is much quicker than the reading uh, the writing takes about two minutes or so uh, and yes that that's done what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm not gonna take the boot pin just yet uh, I'm gonna put some tape right here where the boot pin is gonna touch the case I'm going to uh, insulate this with uh, uh, insulation tape, put the cover in, just tape, temporarily close the ECU. I'm just going to tape uh, the cover around the ECU because uh, obviously we want to try, make sure the car starts fine and we're going to go for a road test, make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. And, um, and once again, I do apologize for not uh, recording the the flashing process if the file needs to be uh tweaked a little bit i will get in touch with uh, the with the guy at ecu tech he will do whatever needs to be done and if i need to reflash this again i will make sure i will not forget but um 
But yeah, so let's gonna go, let's gonna temporarily close this, put it on the car, start the engine, and go for a drive test. There, there is a little bit more I need to do before we go for a drive test, but, uh, but yeah, that, that's what we're gonna do next. I've just put the ECU in place, as I said, I've just taped it around. Um, and let's gonna see, let's gonna see if my engine starts okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, lovely. Good. And that's it, guys. That's how you read and write uh, EDC 17C10 uh, with a three core 1757. I'm gonna go and drive the car test it make sure everything's okay there's a few tweaks I need to do before as I mentioned uh, past in the video but essentially this is what this video was about guys um, hope you enjoyed the video hope there's some info here that you guys can uh, uh, I don't know make use of it um, if you have any questions any comments guys put them below and like always thank you for watching